satisfies me in my current role is actually the connection of the technical product management and the application data uh, generation. So we are in both cases very close at our customers on their requirements and needs. That can be questions regarding specification, but it's most interesting for us also to learn what type of applications our customer request, what their plans with the recipients are, what problems they observe, and then sit together and uh, discuss what opportunities exist to answer these questions. Solubility is a big challenge in the industry because of the new drug molecules coming up. Uh, so high throughput screening, for example, is a morphology where a lot of lead molecules are generated, but also the physiological uh, requirements for those drug molecules uh, simply mean that drugs are often lipophilic, they are not hydrophilic, so they are not soluble in a GI uh, fluid, and um, that is actually the challenge we have. By new technologies, which we also provide in solubilization, we are able to handle more drug molecules successful and hopefully bring them successfully to the market. So the most important uh, technologies uh, to solubilize a drug are micronization, amorphous solid dispersions, any kind of encapsulation that could be inclusion con complexes, it could be also lipid-based uh, drug delivery systems, so uh, micellation, and um, these are also the commercial relevant technologies we see. Yeah, the most important things actually uh, are that nowadays you need to be an expert in the formulation science and in the process science. So that might be different to what we have seen in the past uh, decades. Um, it's not sufficient to be a pharmacist and be an expert for the formulation or to be an engineer and be the expert in the process. Um, if you want to successfully formulate a formulation or polysoluble drug, for example, into a solid dispersion, then it's really absolutely necessary that you understand what is the interplay between the formulation and the process and how do you adjust the process appropriate to match the requirements of your drug molecule, of your formulation. One example would be uh, in hot metal extrusion that you need to define very precisely how much shear you apply, for example, what is the temperature profile you would like to achieve to ensure that the drug is fully molecularly dispersed, but at the same time that you do not generate side products and degradation products. So that really requires a very close interaction between people in the development departments. As change in 2020, I would like to see more of uh, these smart pills, so have really intelligent dosage forms, which uh, are equipped with uh, sensors uh, to really allow a drug release at the right side of target, very patient, individual, controlled. Nowadays, the formulations we have, imagine you have an enteric coated tablet, it's uh, strictly releasing, for example, or dissolving as coating once the stomach is passed, but that depends on the pH, and the pH in the stomach can vary. So smart pills would allow really, in that sense, an individual dosage form for patient, and uh, I see actually also a big role here in, for BASF because the combination of, for example, smart pills with drug delivery technologies, that will be a very powerful combination. The CPHI 2016 in Barcelona is uh, the most important uh, show we have this year. It's the world's largest pharma exhibition. And here is the right place to get in touch with our customers, have a lot of contacts, a lot of meetings, generate new business, but also discuss problems which exist and which we may resolve. So we look forward for a good show.